the local government ministry is taking its turn on the public accounts committee sitting today. Deputy Minister Obi Amwa is answering questions. Let's go there live. Yes, it is true that the amount was given to the regional office to register 10,000 children. Again, the amount was paid into the, reg the office account at NIB. Uh, actually, it is not a personal account. It is an account that is operated by the office. This decision was taken because as per the agreement between the office and Plan Ghana, they have assessed the account and have found it uh, conducive for the work that they were asking us to do. So the money was lost here. Um, we must say that it's not the entire amount that is supposed to be used for registration. We also have administrative charges, that is allowance for the volunteers, transport, for the officers who move from one point to the other. So the part that is supposed to be used for registration, which is about uh, 154,000 Ghana cities, has been utilized accordingly and has been lodged 100 and, I think I have to, yeah. It is. One hundred and fifty four thousand nine hundred and twenty Ghana cities is the part or the portion of the amount that has been used so far to register seven thousand seven hundred and eighty one children and that has been receipted appropriately and paid into the consolidated fund. The portion that is thirty eight thousand nine hundred and five so far has been used on administrative charges. As we speak, there is a balance of 30,935 in the account, which is supposed to be used to register uh, 219 children left to be registered. You said the balance is how much? 30,935. 30, okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the response is encouraging, but I'm not convinced. Uh, indeed, the auditor's report says specifically that the amount was lodged in an unofficial bank account at uh, NIB. I've looked at the response by the ministry, and it confirms that the amount was lodged in the welfare fund account <coughs> of the department. Quite clearly, there is some discrepancy as far as this is concerned, and I believe it needs to be clarified. Mr. Chairman, while, whilst at it, the response also from the ministry quotes a number of 7,781 persons to have been registered and given birth certificates. As of the 28th of July 2017. Now, what we are looking at, we all know the dates that we are examining, in as far as the Auditor General's report is concerned. Does it mean that the previous audit reports did not capture this information? And would that not suggest that this is? Post, well, post, post action. I would like a response to that, Mrs. Uh, I wanted to say, Mr. Speaker, but you are not there yet. So, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the issue is that this is an ongoing project. It's an ongoing project. It's uh, an arrangement between the births and deaths registry and Plan Ghana. So as at the time of the of the audit, that is a figure that was quoted. But in uh, in addressing the uh, issues which were raised, we are we are giving you an update 
an update on the entire uh, the entire process that is going on. So it's an ongoing pro pro uh, process. Even after we we, we leave uh, this uh, event, they will still go ahead and register because the registration exercise was meant for the deprived uh, communities. It was supposed to help those who did who normally would not have a birth certificate be availed the opportunity of getting a birth certificate. So it's an ongoing project. That is why the figures are uh, uh, different from what was captured in the audit. Which one is that? The, the, the disparity between the unofficial account and the welfare fund account. Uh, I don't know whether that question should go to the auditors or it should go to the ministry at uh, your 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 own discretion. I think that we, let's find out from them if the welfare uh, accounts is it worth what is it how do you call it welfare. welfare fund account is the official account of the department yes. yes it is do we have the the registrar or the accountant at the war war office here yes the accountant and the uh, registrar are here they are here yes they are saying that the welfare fund account is the official account of the department. It's one of the accounts. One of the accounts. Well, let's, why, why, why did, did you decide to pay this particular money into the welfare fund account? Well, Mr. Chairman, if I will come in. Uh, the, we have what is called a government partnership agreement between the Best and Death Registry and Plan International. And they agreed specifically that for various reasons, the funding or the amount should be put in the welfare fund. In fact, it said it's the full thing is Best and Death Welfare Fund in WA at National Investment Bank to facilitate the implementation based on assessment of the bank account. So it's an agreement between plan and the best desk registry. It's officially recognized as part of the accounts of the registry. Okay, we, we want that thing to be clear. Yes. Because if you say welfare, probably it's, it's welfare from a certain group of people, other staff, whatever. If it's a staff welfare account, then it is not, it cannot be described as official account of the department. But if it is the, the name is there, but it is official, one of the official accounts of the department or the uh, best and death department, then we can, we can accept it as um, uh, a legitimate account to, into which the money can be put. That is why we ask that question. So I believe that that, that has been cleared. So um, I'll go to Honorable Chair Bafo. Thank you, Mr. Chair Bafo. I want us to look at the Auditor General's report on the, the activities of the uh, Department of Park, Parks and Gardens, Koforudua, the original branch of Koforudua. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. 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 Minister, uh, to start off, I want to know whether this department is still in existence? That's a very serious question, Honorable. <laughs> <laughs> the, the budget for every year under the ministry also indicates that the Department of Parks and Gardens is in existence and is under the ministry, and the funds they generate, those funds are paid into the consultative fund. So it exists. It may have its own challenges, but we cannot say that it's defunct. It's very active. Good to know that because I'm interested in what goes on in the region. Uh, moving on, Mr. Minister, how widespread is it that uh, uh, a staff of your ministry, a civil servant for that matter, can just commercialize government property? or rent out a portion of it without recourse to the head office, specifically 
to the director of parks and gardens? Well, that's a very good question. And the director of parks and gardens is here. He should be able to tell us what anybody needs to go through, especially those at the regional level, before they can enter into arrangements with private entities. Thank you, Honorable mm -hmm. Chair. Um, as part of our mandate, we're supposed to provide certain services to the general public. And one of these is um, the making available the various parks that we operate to the general public. This issue came up through an official request from a private entity asking that um, the Can you mention your name? Because we need to record it. Okay. My name is Ishmania J. Brown. I'm the National Director for the Department of Parks and Gardens. As alluded earlier on, I'm saying that it's part of our mandate that we make um, the various parks that we manage uh, available to the general public to be used as such. And um, in the infraction uh, in question, there was an official request from the um, entity that they wanted to use the facility for special day programs. When I say special day programs, I'm referring to like public holidays that they, they want to organize special events in the past. And um, they, take, they took them through the, the normal process, but it was done on the pilot basis, as a matter of fact. So when the um, issue occurred in the audit, they did as required by writing officially to the national office for the approval. But unfortunately, having tried the project on one or two bases, they realized the um, private entity realized that it was not worth it. So as I speak, the, the, the project is abandoned. It's no more ongoing. But um, as required or requested by the auditors, they wrote to the national office. But in the course of seeking approval from the higher authorities, then this issue of the party not even interested anymore in the uh, facility also came up. Additionally, I can assure the House that, yes, the agreement that was asked to be drawn has been drawn. But because the project has been abandoned, we, 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 we have just left it to go. So that is the current state of the issue. Thank you. Mr. Minister, going forward, uh, what measures are uh, going to be put in place honorable, to deter honorable people? Member, honorable member, we have the ground rules. Hmm? Go ahead. The chairman should catch your eye. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, chairman, sorry. Uh, I'll take it again. Um, I'm asking whether uh, you deem it fit to put in place some deterrent measures so that nobody can uh, just get up tomorrow from another branch to commercialize government property without appropriate authorization. Well, thank you. The, the procedure is that the, those who are running any part of the department, whether in the district, like the famous um, botanical gardens in Ebury, or in the regions, if you're supposed to enter into any arrangement, the national office should be aware. And sometimes the national office should even refer to the ministry for the appropriate um, approval. So they've been made aware. The, the director is very much aware that such things are not authorized and that any arrangement that any part of the department wants to enter into, the national level and the ministry should be informed and then authorization provided accordingly. Honorable Atamils. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, if we could go to uh, paragraph 721, it's about um, on end income. This seems to be a problem in almost every uh, department or ministry. Uh, my question is, we have um, some people over here who were paid 144,000, over 144,000.
But now let's head back to Parliament, uh, where some officials of the local government ministry, as well as the deputy minister there, are answering some questions. Uh, bef uh, answering some questions uh, from the Auditor General's report about uh, activities there at the ministry. Thank you. Yes, well, I, I, uh, we will. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Honorable Minister, Community Development Vocational Training Institute, Sunyani, is it under Ministry of Local Government? Yes, Mr. Chairman, Community Development is under Ministry of Local Government. I understand yesterday you rather <coughs> requested the Ministry of Employment to respond to the queries. Um, we, we just noticed that those queries have been raised. The chief director is here. He has to tell us what. Yeah. On our chair, the initial uh, invitation to the ministry did not cover the issue. Um, I must admit, it was very late yesterday, around uh, 5 o'clock, that my attention was drawn to it. And uh, when we attempted getting the um, director of community development, he's already outside Accra. He's in Kumasi. So that's why we couldn't uh, respond to that aspect of the invitation. Well, the, it is not your fault because um, we also, from the report, it shows that it was put under Employment and uh, Labor Relations Ministry, not local government. So it was yesterday that the distinction was made that it's actually under your ministry. So the letter inviting you did not include community development. So we'll find a way of how to go about it. OK, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Uh, Minister, in fact, uh, the uh, acting director of the uh, uh, registry department was reading a document in response to a question on the money from the plant Ghana, right? And then he was trying to break down the, the 224,000 amount that was given into uh, regist registration and then administration. That's correct. So, how much was allocated for administration? The, the arrangement was this that on every one child registered, five cities, five cities is given for administrative charges. So, if you put that together, for the 10,000 children, it would have meant that 50,000 Ghana cities was to be used for administration. Okay. And then the component for the registration of the bursaries, registration, how much? Uh, I need to do the, the calculation. 50,000 from uh, 224,750, 760. Just do, just do and give us. Do. You say you want to do some kind of subtraction, so do. The registration per child is yes. So for, for the registration done so far. Uh -huh. It's not registration done so far. We just want to know how much. Zero six seven four seven. Okay. I think the the, the amount for registration will be one hundred and seventy four thousand seven hundred and sixty. If you take out, out the fifty thousand. That's correct. So if you divide it by the ten thousand people to register, so on the average seventeen cities. On the average, mm -hmm. it was 17 cities per each uh, for, for per person. Yes. Yes. 
based on the, the, the observation. Again, again, the. It will depend on the age of the individual being registered. Okay. Now the amount, I, I don't think that uh, the the plant uh, Ghana just uh, said that uh, some people are in need of a uh, birth set and they don't have money means to do it. So let's uh, we are going to allocate twenty two thousand four hundred and seventy six. They didn't do that. It was based on request. Request. Did they just sit down and say, take 224,760 to register people in need of a birth set, but they don't have money? No, they, they, they have identified the district where they want to carry out this project. With the list of With beneficiaries? The list of the beneficiaries. And you have the details? Um, we should have it in the region. You should have it. The, the regional head is here, so I would ask. Okay, okay, let him do it first. You can do it. My name is Na, Na Alasan Musa. I just assume uh, uh, responsibilities of the region on 6 January uh, 2017. 2017. Yeah, Plan Ghana, they operate in uh, five districts in the region. Uh, these are Wa East, Wa Municipal, Wa West, uh, Sisala, East and West. So they identify the needy children in these various communities and then uh, uh, support with this money to do the registration. So you don't know how, so you don't know how much was allocated per each person to benefit? That, that one depends on the age. If uh, the child is below five years, mm -hmm. it's 10 Ghana cities. Okay. And if the child is above five years, mm -hmm. it's 20 Ghana cities. Okay. So they allocate the five Ghana cities per child has administrative expenses to enable uh, the registration process. So, uh, Chairman, I think we have to request these guys, uh, sorry, uh, the, the, uh, the head of department to furnish the auditors with uh, how much was spent in, uh, it, how, when was the money allocated? When? The money, they were, so the chairman will take the uh, yeah. uh, Mr. Chairman, the partnership agreement is dated 14th October 14. So the assumption is that they would have started after the agreement in October 2013. Indeed, the agreement says that it runs from 1st November 2013 to 31st October 2014. But obviously, they haven't finished the project as they are still carrying on with the registration. So, uh, 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 Mr. Chairman, uh, I want to find out if the money is allocated for the registration and you do it, it is, I mean, the money is for central government, not for the department, except that you have a percentage that you retain for your own operations. That is right. Is that, is that right? Yes. You know, what you do, the money is for central government. So the money is not given to the beneficiaries to come and pay again. It's already there. That's so as and when, so appropriate transfers and all that. How much was used, uh, applied, and then uh, used for 2015, or if you say 2014, 2015, up, and the relevant supporting document to, 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 to back see. Now be done. Thank you. And on Cuckoo Market, Mr. Chairman. In fact, uh, it was, uh, yes under the abandoned projects. It was during Kufour's time, in his last year, 2008, when he came and cut the salt for the construction of Kufour Market. President Kufour. Oh, yeah, Honorable former President uh, J. Kufour. In fact, that day, that day, everybody, His Excellency, His Excellency, the former President of the Republic of Ghana, J. Kufour, 
when the sword was cut, in fact, the whole town, especially that community, if you go and see the market, the, 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 the place for the market, it's a very nice uh, funding was source, and then construction work began around what, March in 2008. Unfortunately, MPP couldn't uh, continue after 2018 election. Money was there, source, and then it was sitting down. For the, if you see the space,